So Kevin, we need your help today. So, uh, so many of us don't know what to say. We don't know what to do and we don't know how to act. A community asking a beloved public servant to help them one last time. That's Algona's plea as fallen police officer Kevin Cram is laid to rest. Tearful goodbyes and fond memories. That's how Officer Cram's friends and loved ones sent him off this morning during his funeral service. It's a story of a life cut short that we have been bringing to you for the last week. Officer Cram was shot and killed in the line of duty while trying to fulfill an arrest warrant. He joined the police reserves right out of high school and became part of the Algona Police Force eight years ago. He survived by his wife and two children. Our team has been with the Algona community and Officer Cram's law enforcement family since this tragedy unfolded. That's where we find our own Larissa Leone this evening. Larissa, you were able to attend Officer Cram's funeral. What did all these people close to him have to say? Oh, Stephanie, it was a sincerely an emotional day today. The Algona community laid to rest a father, a husband and a police officer. But everyone who knows him say that they knew him for way more than those titles describe him as. And they say the legacy he left on this community is one that will last forever. A somber goodbye. An officer, a husband, a father, a son. Family, friends, residents of Algona, and hundreds of men and women in uniform come together to pay tribute to their homegrown hero, Officer Kevin Michael Cram. People have heard me say for the past few years that Kevin Cram is one of the very best law enforcement officers in this entire area. Somebody that could have worked anywhere, but chose to do it right here in a place called home. But as we see the tears fall from the faces of Cram's wife and young sons, we come to remember the man behind the badge. You see Kevin was reading a bedtime story to the boys in his squad car in uniform. You could hear the radio in the background. He never turned the dad off. The ceremony rooted in faith and family as Cram's grandmother personally selected the scripture spoke in honor of her grandson. As the father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in my love. And through the pain, sweet memories of Officer Cram also filled the room with laughter. I was on a call and I sent him a picture of a raccoon that was deceased on the side of the road. And I just remember sending him a picture and saying, hey, do you want this? And I swear to you, it was less than five seconds. And the ha I had a message back for raccoon stew. <laughs> this small community and the Iowa men and women in blue across the state will never forget Officer Kevin Cram. I know if you were able, you would perk up, give us that smile of yours, a short laugh or chuckle. You would tell us that you wouldn't want us to live our lives today. And Stephanie, it was truly heartbreaking to see his young children and his wife mourn the loss of their father and husband. But what was comforting about it is there were so many people from law enforcement to community members that were there. And I truly feel as though they have support moving forward. And I know that this day may have been sad, but it was a beautiful reminder that when tough times stri strike Iowa, small communities come together like this tenfold. Live in Algona, Larissa Leone, Local 5 News.